Hey there, my viewers. It is the one, the only. It is Team Rai Rai. And I'm totally back. And it's great to be back. Anyway, let's get this thing rocking and rolling, my viewers. It is time to discuss some wrestling news and other wrestling topics I love to discuss with you. Yes, you. So here it goes. Now, probably a lot of you know about this certain topic. On the other hand, you may not know about this certain topic. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to wing it like I usually do. So here it goes. Who is Brock Lesnar's next opponent? Do you think it's going to be a Roman Reigns for the billionth time? Do you think it's going to be the retirement of the Undertaker, he could come out of retirement and the face Lesnar for the universe title at Savasheries, or can it be like Dean Ambrose, or can it be like Seth Rollins, um, Bray Wyatt? It's none of those guys, it is Finn Balor. Finn Balor finally get his opportunity at the Universal Championship. But one problem is going to be against Brock Lesnar. And it's going to take place at Survivor Series. Oh wow. Let's see how this match is going to take place you know how is this gonna unfold you know we all know that Brock Lesnar is not on TV that often so how is this gonna happen probably my guess is um, Paul Heyman is gonna talk to Finn Balor and all the good stuff and because Brock Lesnar is not a full-time wrestler he's a part-time wrestler that kind of irked me especially he's the Universal Champion since Mania but whatever, um, I guess he just signed the contract and he just signs whatever W gives him. Or actually, W just, wait, let me be afraid, I'm sorry. W just agrees whatever he wants, how many days off he wants and how many TV appearances he agrees with and whatever. It's all about the money. Anyway. Brock Lesnar is definitely he's going to take Finn Balor to Suplex City. So rest in peace, Finn Balor's career. Hopefully not, but this would be a mega, mega upset if he could beat the Beast, slay the Beast, whatever you want to call it, and become the Universal Champion for the second time. Now, I don't know why in the hell did it took this long to get his another opportunity at the Universal Championship. Yes, I know. He was out of action for almost a year. There was a great match between him and Seth Rollins. And um, he won that match, but the next night all, he had to forfeit it because due to injury. He had a lot of rehab. And when he came back on W programming for Raw, he was doing his very, very... Um, okay matches using this fatal five way extreme rules uh, for the normal contender but I guess though he was not ready for him to go after the belt so it's not his fault it's the creators they don't know what to do with him you know it's very sad so they're doing these very very bizarre um, storylines between him and Bray Wyatt and whatever it's not really a storyline they just put these two guys Together, say you guys are gonna have a match at etc. etc. Pay per view, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm really hopefully praying to God that uh, Finn Balor beats Brock Lesnar at Survivor a big, a big shocking value. But on the other hand, is I don't think it's gonna happen because right now, set in stone, Lesnar is gonna retain a belt at Survivor most likely. Sadly, but surely, then he's gonna go on to WrestleMania and face 
you darn right, Roman freaking Reigns. And we saw that match at WrestleMania 31. Not a, well, it was sort of a one on one match until Seth Rollins cashed in and made it a triple threat match that made that match more exciting to watch. Um, you know, some people love Roman Reigns, all other people don't like him, but. You can't make every wrestling fan love everyone on a roster, right? On a raw roster or spent on a live roster, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't mind Lesnar, okay? I don't mind him at all. But how long is he going to keep the freaking belt? You know? He hardly defends it. Maybe on pay-per-view, I think that's the only time he, he defends it. That'd be great if WWE lets him, yeah, lets him defend it on Raw. You know what I'm saying? Then people could tune in. Like, for example, Brock Lesnar versus um, Braun Strowman tonight for the main event. People tune in. But everyone knows that Brock Lesnar is going to win. You know, he beat um, Goldberg at a frick of WrestleMania. You know, two old dudes. They're both old dudes. But I know probably Goldberg is way older than Lesnar than... Uh, Goldberg, what I said Goldberg, see, I'm thinking about Goldberg, scratch, I'm sorry, um, Lesnar, B. Goldberg, at Mania, whatever, uh, then, he was off for many, many months, it seemed like it, uh, then, um, he, he had this, I'm not discuss about the Fatal Fire away, because he was not really part of it, or was he, no, he wasn't, Great balls of fire between him and Samojo. Samojo should won, but this is W, you know, because I guess Lesnar is a like a marquee match and people like to pay money for him. And he was in the UFC and blah, 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 blah. And I don't understand what W is doing. I guess Lesnar is really kissing McMahon's feet in other words I really like to see, but I'm not going to say it on here because... I want to keep it clean. If I mess up, if I say a cuss word, I'm sorry. But I don't know. I guess he's really kissing up his feet, you know. Whatever you want, Lesnar, you could have. You know what I'm saying? That's not really a right for the other W superstars who's there 365 days a year. You know, they're every Raw, every SmackDown Live. I mean, they don't have to be on TV, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, if you see Paul Heyman, most likely you're going to see Lesnar. Or maybe the few times you're just going to see um, Paul Heyman and no Lesnar. Now, I have no problem with Paul Heyman. He's a great manager. I think he's a manager, you know. I know it's a different name, but he's freaking awesome. You know, on the mic, I cannot picture. Um, actually, back in the day, Lesnar talked, but that was a bad, terrible mis mistake on Dobby's part. You should never make Brock Lesnar freaking talk that way he's the beast let him dominate the match and wins that's it you know so i give i'm being honest here i'm giving finn beller a very slim chance to winning you know at least he gets an opportunity at the universal championship it's not confirmed but most likely it will be confirmed sooner or later so we're not gonna see lesnar on tv sometime until beginning of November just that's just my guess he was not on Raw last night sadly um, last time we saw him was at SummerSlam and he took his title and went home with it say see you guys see you sometime in November or whenever they call me so whatever or he might make it a rare appearance on Raw so let's see what happens so what do you think do you think this is gonna be a good match a slobber knocker in Jim Ross's honor of Jim Ross. Or do you think um, Brock Lesnar is going to take Finn Balor to Soup Plex City? Do you think Finn Balor has a, any chance to beat the beast Brock Lesnar? Anyway, have a good one. If you like the discussion, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that little bell, the notification on your phone or any other mobile device. Or probably on, on your, you know what I'm saying, mobile device. And if you're new to YouTube channel, you could check out my older, schooler, older videos. Hit the subscribe button somewhere on the side. It's a red, just click it. 
then you get the newest videos you can check out for the blast from the past. And one more thing before I sign off, I'm looking forward to the W2K18 video game. And I'll definitely do an unboxing. It will be here before you know it. And I definitely pre-order it. It seemed like that long ago, but I don't forgot when I pre-order it. So I post to get it four days earlier than if you don't pre-order it. So let's see if this does happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll be very, very disappointed. Anyway, sorry, I, I discussed about the um, discussion and I discussed about random topics like I mentioned it before um, I discussed, I did my little quick introduction. So... See you guys and gals on the flip side, and now see you later. Thank you very much for listening.